Hello gorgeous people and welcome to another TV Central one-on-one podcast. I'm Aaron Ryan. Today a quick chat with former but now current star of Neighbours Ryan Maloney as his character Tony Rebecca has been arisen from the ashes with the announcement that Neighbours has found a new home through Prime Video. Ten will retain first run rights here in Australia for the new episodes. Ryan thank you for joining me here at TV Central. Uh, no worries that's the first time I've heard it uh, being mentioned like that. And I really feel like I've risen from the dead. <laughs> Thank you. You pretty much have, because what an announcement. By the time the series ended, no deal was in place. Neighbours was dead. I mean, it pretty much looked like the show wasn't coming back. Did you hold out hope? or Did you think it was dead? Or did you have this little thing in the back of your mind that it's it will come back? No, this was literally the last thing that I ever expected. So it was, um, it was quite an amazing uh an amazing conversation to have with the producer when uh, Jason turned up and he said to her, hey, uh, guess what? Neighbours is back. Um, do you want to come back? <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> it was uh, a very bizarre conversation. <laughs> if it did come back, I mean, w- were you thinking you would jump straight back into it? But one Or once Neighbours had ended, did you think, no, I'm going to say goodbye, even if it did get resurrected in the future? Was it a hard decision or was it just straight back in? Um, look, you know, you know, you spend a, a bit of time, you know, obviously neighbors finishing. So it takes a bit of time to adjust something that you've been doing for the last 28 years, which is, you know, most of my life. So, you know, mentally it's a, it's a bit of a turnaround, but, um, when an opportunity, the, probably the best way to do it, to explain it is that when an opportunity like this comes along in your life once, then you think, oh my gosh, this is that, you know, how lucky am I, but for it to, for it to come around a second time. Like, that's just insane. I'm just so, you know, incredibly grateful for it, to be honest. I'm just going to make the most of what I can. I know you don't get involved in the behind the scenes stuff with this, but do you know how hard the logistics were to get all of this done? Or was Amazon were like, oh, yeah, we're happy to do it? Or has there been people working really, really hard behind the scenes for the last few months? Um, look, I believe, you know, so Amazon, Amazon Freebie are using it to be basically launching, you know, Freebie um, worldwide. Uh, so that's kind of how much um, confidence they have in the product uh, is that, you know, they, they obviously knew that nobody was signed um, and that, you know, there's no writers, there's no, um, we don't even know if you've got sets and all that kind of stuff, but they obviously just had so much faith in the show and what, you know, they've actually got the back catalogue as well. Um, yeah. uh, so that kind of says a lot about kind of what we produce, um, you know, I mean, this isn't just an Australian television show. Yes, we're, we're going to, we're on 10, um, and it's actually going to be going to 10 first, but this is actually a worldwide show, um, an international show. So, um, you know, it kind of says, uh, kind of where we stand in the world, which is just absolutely amazing. This is really a big announcement, though. It's not just, it's great, obviously, that Neighbours is back, but this is a return to people working in the Australian uh, industry in television. So writers, uh, directors, producers, camera, um, tech people, everything. Um, it, it is a huge announcement um, that, the, that the entire industry is back with, with this show, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, Neighbours has always been mentioned as, you know, one of the best training grounds in the world. Uh, and, you know, now it's back. The opportunity that's that's going to come from this, you know, and, and obviously, you know, like Home and Away as well, that's that, that's the same kind of deal. Um, but, uh, you know, for, for us, you know, obviously in Victoria um, and just having such an Australian product being so world recognised, um, I think is just an awesome uh, opportunity. Obviously, the rest of the cast must be feeling great, Alan, Jackie, Stefan, but um, did, the, did they think that was retirement coming up for them? Um, and, you know, that's just been totally reversed for them? Yeah, well, they had already put in their order for Zimmer frames and, you know, <laughs> um, so we just had to give us kind of put it on hold and say, you know, come on, come out of the home. It's time to come out. You need to come and meet people. I, I know it's early days um, at the moment, but do you know if the storylines will just sort of just pick up um, 12 months later or is this an opportunity for the show to do something different or go in a different direction? Well, that's, that's, that's it, is that we actually don't know. Um, literally, we found out last Friday uh, and what are we, we're Friday, so it's been a week um, and only until now, because the news is out, have producers been really able to kind of approach people and talk about 
kind of where they want to go and what they want to do. Um, and we don't actually know. It's really in the hands of, of the writers and what they want to do. Um, but I think it's an exciting opportunity to actually um, to, you know, to, 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 to create something in you. Um, you know, we've got this fantastic, you know, um, this fantastic, you know, kind of footing that we can stand on. But, uh, you know, to be able to create something new um, and dynamic will be just, you know, highly important. Do you think, because this is going to screen on streaming services in, in, in a lot of countries, um, obviously 10, 10 here, but is this an opportunity for some more adult storylines? Are we going to see Toadie involved in some more full-on sex scenes or something? <laughs> well, that kind of Game of Thrones style. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but we could go down the more adult storyline uh, route, couldn't we? Or is that possible? Um, look, I'm not too sure, to be honest. I suppose it kind of... It kind of um, depends on you know the uh, the ratings and you know kind of where where you're situated. Um, like we don't even know if we're actually on on ten or on peach or or you know anywhere else. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> could be anywhere. It could be on ten shade, ten bold. Who knows? It could, it could be anywhere. <laughs> Absolutely. And I know everyone's going to ask. It's probably too early for this. But do you know about the format of the series? Is this like a a five episodes a week? across you know most of the year type thing or is this just a a short season or how is the episodes working um i think it's pretty similar i believe it's pretty similar but you know w once again um the absolute you know I don't, I don't have the absolute say on that so you know i i don't know but i do believe it's something similar Okay, so a multi-episode a week. It's not like a one hour per week or something like that. We're looking at a, a similar format, at least, to um, to how Neighbours ran before. Yes. Um, and what storylines would you like to see with, with Toadie now? Because you sort of rested the whole thought about where Toadie was going. Where would you like to see him go now? Well, I don't know because, you know, I don't know kind of what kind of characters uh, uh, are going to come back and what kind of characters are going to be new. Um, so... I don't know it's a bit anything is literally possible which is pretty exciting um but yeah i haven't even thought about that <laughs> I, I, actually that's a good point because if it's only that there's the core cast coming back it would have to sort of change a lot of things the family dynamics of toady and new friends and stuff but if it's a lot of people returning i suppose you can go back to where you were before so interesting yeah it is it is and who knows we might we might pick it up, you know, 20 years down the line. No, we couldn't do 20 years down the line. I don't think I'm quite that grey yet. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> All right, Ryan, I know that 5 million people want to speak to you um, because of the announcement that happened yesterday. Um, thanks for joining me for a quick chat and so excited to see Neighbours back and the whole industry coming back um, for next year. Good on you. Thank you for having me. That's all right. Ryan Maloney, star of Neighbours, back in 2023 on 10. I never thought I'd be saying that. That's it for this podcast. Until next time, bye for now.